In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to open a bottle of champagne, um, bubbly wine, sparkling wine, whatever you want to call it, doesn't have to come from champagne, um, but I'm going to be showing you the correct way to open a bottle of champagne. The reason that I decided to do this video uh, was I was looking around on the internet and I found a ton of videos out there on how to open champagne, and so many of them were showing you the wrong way to open champagne. So I'm going to show you the sommelier, the correct way, if you will. Uh, of opening champagne. So uh, you can need three things. Obviously you can need a uh, bottle of champagne. Uh, for this one I have chosen the, uh, the finest um, champagne. How do I know it's champagne? Because it says on the label um, champagne. So uh, you're going to need your bottle of champagne. You will need a, uh, a cloth. It doesn't have to match your shirt. I don't know why I chose to, um, but whatever. Uh, potentially the other thing is that you will need a waiter's friend. Okay, so let's get started. We have our, uh, let's pretend this is our uh, service situation now. Guest is, uh, is sat. We have our, uh, our champagne glass right here. This is our, uh, our champagne, which has been chilled down to 50 degrees, 50 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, ready for service. We've been very careful not to shake the, uh, the wine, or we'd just really end up with a crazy, magnificent mess, and we don't want that. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's get started. We're, uh, our first thing that we're greeted with here is the uh, is the foil. Uh, now I don't know if for some reason the most expensive champagnes in the world have the uh, have the, just the complete worst foil uh, to get off. Luckily with this uh, with this champagne we have this cool little uh, you know red pull tab right here, so we uh, we can get into it get into it that way. So let's do that. Peel it off. All this rubbish goes in our pocket. Okay. And as we look at it now, there's our little, uh, our little pull tab, if you can see that. Uh, I'm going to put the cloth over that in a second, but we're going to pull that out. And we're going to put the cloth over the top. Notice where I have my, uh, my hand here. I always do the same, kind of have my left hand there so I can put my uh, thumb over the top. And we're actually going to be turning this. If I can hold it properly here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Always six, same with every sparkling wine or champagne that you're ever greeted with. Now, here's the main thing. A lot of videos will tell you to remove this cork. Um, uh, sorry, not the cork, the, uh, the cage. Uh, you always leave the, uh, the cage on. Um, so obviously we're going to remove the cork, but you always want to leave this cage on. That should be separated with the actual cork itself. The reason for that is that the average amount of pressure in uh, a champagne or sparkling wine bottle is about two to three times the pressure in your uh, in your like an average car tire, uh, or about the same in like a bus tire. Uh, and if you take that cage off, the cork potentially could come flying out. And you could kill somebody, or maybe just break a light or something. So we always leave that on. So here's what we want to do. We're going to have the uh, the cloth kind of over the top there. And we're going to be removing this ever so gently, just twisting. And the sound that we're looking for is not this hugely ex uh, like exaggerated pop noise. Think of the sound that the Queen makes when she passes gas. The, uh, the sound that the Queen makes when she passes gas. So really just more of a pff, just like a pff kind of sound. Imagine that. That's the sound that we're going for. Okay, here we go. That's so good, you could barely even hear it. Alright, and it's off. That is the proper way to open a bottle of bubbles. 